Hey, welcome to the Hoops Family Network. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, and share this out so others can see. Today, we are going to do the Holly Jolly Epic Family 50 Question Tag. So stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss that. Cue the intro. So welcome back to our channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 14. So we were challenged by Q&M Bunch to do the Holly Jolly Epic Family 50 Questions Tag. So we're going to do that today. And I also want to say if you haven't checked out our second channel yet, The Hoops Paranormal, there will be a link down below um, if you are interested. Um, it's a channel we just recently started and we're working on putting content out. So I hope you enjoy that as well. So let's get into today's video. So question number one, Christmas or Thanksgiving? Which one do you prefer and why? I prefer Christmas. It seems to be the time of year that everybody is in better moods and it's such a more giving um, time of the year. Number two, what is your favorite Christmas song? Probably, um, All I Want For Christmas Is You. I think that's my favorite. Number three, White Christmas or A California Warm Christmas. Don't get me wrong, I like seeing it snow on Christmas, but I'm a freeze baby and prefer to, I prefer it to be warm, um, but it, here in Ohio we usually get a white Christmas, so when we don't get snow, it's kind of a nice little treat as well. Four, what is the most memorable Christmas gift you have ever received as a child, and why was it so memorable? Um, I probably want to say getting a game system because it was so expensive and um, something that was so hard to think that my parents could, like, afford. So it was nice when Santa was able to bring it. Five, have you ever done Black Friday holiday shopping? Was it worth it? Yes, I have. Um, a couple years ago, I went... It's probably the last Black Friday shopping I went. I went and got a bunch of frames on sale. And I still have them to this day. Um, I'm using them now for our family vacation. But I got like... Uh, $200 worth of frames for like 50 bucks and then um now I use I like a couple years ago I used Black Friday shopping to kind of spend on myself so I would get myself a new pair of jeans a shirt a uh, new outfit wardrobe um but now anymore Black Friday I'm usually done shopping before Black Friday and nowadays, it's not worth it anymore because you're usually doing your shopping online or um, you know, so you're not really going into or you're not going into the store or waiting until uh, Black Friday anyways. Six, what is your favorite holiday dish? Um, ham, green beans, um, sweet potatoes. Kind of like the same thing as Thanksgiving. Seven, do you like eggnog? What do you like to mix it with? I like eggnog, but it's not something I like to drink all year round. I maybe have like one cup of it in the season. If not, um, I, I can skip it. Um, I usually just drink it how it is. Eight, describe a Christmas present that you wanted badly as a child but never received. Um, I wanted a 
tent so bad and I remember opening my sleeping bag up and remember that's all I said was I never got the tent I said oh they brought me a sleeping bag but not my tent and you could just kind of see the look on my parents face just go away Nine, name something about Christmas that most people like, but you don't. Uh, a Christmas Story. I absolutely hate it. I think it's the worst movie. Um, considering the kid, I feel like the kid shouldn't even be messing around with a gun. Um, it's just, it causes me so, ma so much anxiety that I just refuse to stay away from it at all. My uncle will go to my parents' house and want to watch it. And I'm, no, no, it can't be on. I will not watch it at all. Now, I would like to go visit the Christmas, uh, the Christmas Story house here. But, like, the iconic stuff and all. But I, I refuse to watch the movie. 10. What is your favorite holiday movie? One you watch every year. Uh, Elf, Santa Claus, The Polar Express. Um, eh, those, those are about, you know, Rudolph. 11. Who is the toughest person that you have to buy for this year and why? I want to say maybe, see, a lot of, like, my my sister has pretty much told me what she wanted. So I think, like, our son, because everybody has asked what he could use, and by the time it's our turn, we don't either have anything left, or it's something we could save for his birthday, 12, what are three things that you are most grateful, grateful for this holiday season and why? Family, because they're like the only ones like I have left in my life. Um, I'm grateful that Kevin has not lost his job through all of this. And that, you know, that we could keep going and the last thing would be, you know, that we have each other and alive. Thirteen, what is your least favorite Christmas song? Um, maybe Santa Baby. I just never understood it. I don't care. It's not one that I care for. 14. What is one Christmas tradition that your family does? Um, we have an artificial tree. Uh, we decorate together. We, we've been home on Christmas most of the time. Um, I guess that's really about it. 15. If you could travel anywhere in the world for Christmas, where would you go and why? I'd love to spend Christmas at Disney because it's the happiest place on earth and because we're a family together and just for once be able to not have a care about anything. Or I would like to go to um, Alani in Hawaii, the Disney resort, and be able to experience that. 16. What's the most memorable or biggest thing that's happened to you since last Christmas? And I'm sure I could speak for everybody when I say um, the big the big disease that's going on in the world right now. That's been a big thing since last Christmas. 17. What's your least favorite item on your Christmas to-do list? Um, pro this year I haven't had much motivation to decorate. 
Um, I did like it, like as very little as I could. Um, so decorating, wrapping's a big one, and and I mean I like to bake, but for us to bake like three hundred some cookies wouldn't be very fun. So I mean I just do like one pack because it's just three of us. So. 18. Have you ever built a snowman? Yes. I live in Ohio where we have snow all, all through winter. So usually every year we get to build a snowman. The last couple years we've only had like one or two really good days of snow. So we'll see. But yes, I have built a snowman. 19. Which would you prefer? Christmas shopping in the big busy department stores in New York or online shopping at home? I would love to go to New York and shop if I have the money, but I'm perfectly happy just shopping at home on Amazon. 20. How old were you when you met Santa and how did it go? Um, when I first met Santa when I was little, I was at Geauga Lake and it was at the Christmas party and I just was so confused and why I was going around this strange man and all I did was scream. My parents, um, I mean, it didn't last very long. I think we ended up getting a quick picture and leaving. So, um, but then every other year I was perfectly fine, so. 21, what is your favorite holiday and what is your least favorite holiday? Um, my favorite holiday has always been Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. My least favorite holiday is probably St. Patrick's Day. I feel like it's just another reason for people to get drunk. So, yes. 22. What's your favorite character from a Christmas-themed movie, book, or TV special? Um, probably Buddy the Elf. Um, I would love Rudolph. And that's probably it. 23, what's the best Christmas gift that you've ever given to someone? I think my best gift I ever gave was I was walking the mall and I happened to run into this stand where they create posters and you get to choose the theme and then you choose the name you're putting on it. And my sister is a huge Taylor Swift fan. So while walking through the mall, I stopped, I looked, I had to get it for her. It's something uh, I'd never seen before anywhere. And if I didn't get it now, I would probably never get it. So I had to order it. I told my mom I was going to be late. I told her why, and I said, I just have to do this. And that was like one of the first things she took when she moved out to. She loves it. 24, if you were Santa Claus, what type of cookie would you like left out for you on Christmas Eve? I am a huge fan of the sugar cookies, especially with the frosting. Dipping them in hot chocolate is like the best. Or chocolate chip cookies, but probably sugar cookies to be number one. 25, name three words that describe Christmas for you. Um, jolly. Um, generous. And happy cheerful 
26. Have you ever had a snowball fight? Yes, we live in Ohio. We have had a snowball fight. 27. Would you rather be outside building a snowman and playing in the snow or in the house under your favorite blanket next to the fireplace with hot chocolate? Well, as a kid, I wanted to be in the snow all day, every day, uh, sled riding. Now I'm perfectly capable of sitting with hot chocolate watching a good Christmas movie. 28, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I'd say the nice list. 29, are you an early shopper or a last minute one? I like to get my Christmas shopping before December even hits. That way I'm done, ready, prepared. I don't like last minute shopping. 30, show us a Christmas photo. So here I'm going to show you three Christmas photos from last year because we haven't taken any this year and we'll see. We might take some on Christmas, but professional, I'm going to put some here. 31, name all of Santa's reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancin, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. 32, when does your family put up your Christmas tree? And uh, usually the day after Thanksgiving. 33, do you prefer a real Christmas tree or a fake one? I prefer a fake one. It saves money. You could use it for a couple years. And you don't have to clean up the pine needles. When, and you have to remember to water it all the time too. 34, go out for New Year's Eve or stay in? I would love to go to New York um, Times Square one time in my life just to say I've experienced it. Other than that, I would rather be home. 35, are you a good gift wrapper? I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. 36. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Yes. I used to always have the weight loss, but with my medical condition, it is very hard to even make that happen. So they're almost like setting goals that are never achievable. So last year, I remember setting the goal of getting our channel monetized. And we were able to accomplish that in August. So, yes, we, um, we stick to them. Um, we spent all year posting. Uh, we never really took a break other than when we went on vacation. And even then, I still had videos scheduled to post. So, this has been a really good year for us. 37 do you have been granted one Christmas wish? What will it be? My Christmas wish would be I would like to be able to pay off debt. So pretty much have all of our debt wiped away. 38. What's your number one desired gift this year? Really just to see happiness on my family's face and to just have each other um, because after what 2020 has been um, just being lucky enough to have each other is a huge accomplishment right now um, other than that um, you know money to help pay debt off or I mean that's that's really about it 39, do you put marshmallows in your hot cocoa? I do if I have them, but I will not buy them just for it. 40, what is your favorite Christmas cartoon movie or TV special? Um, I always loved the Fred Flintstone version of 
uh, Christmas, like where Pebbles and Bam Bam have their child, and um, that's the only time you ever see them is in this Christmas special. That's one of my favorites. Or Rudolph, or like The Year Without a Santa Claus, all the old um, cartoon Christmas specials. 41, what is your favorite, what is your Christmas tree topper? Um, we usually have a star, but the last two years we've had a snowflake, and it's, it's different. 42, have you ever had a kiss under the mistletoe? Yeah, but it was like years ago. 43, what is your favorite Christmas treat? Um, I would probably say the frosted sugar cookies. 44, fill in the blank. All I want for Christmas is, all I want for Christmas is you. 45, what is your favorite Christmas gift received as an adult and why? Anything useful. If I got a laundry basket full of cleaning supplies and, you know, deodorant and stuff that I need that would be the best Christmas gift because then it's something that it's a supply of it that for once I don't have to buy um I just love anything that like you know just anything with thought put into it 47, would you rather help Santa at the North Pole or would you rather help Santa deliver gifts on Christmas Eve? I'd probably be afraid of the heights flying, so I would probably rather help out in the workshop. 48, what is your most memorable New Year's Eve moment? Um... I don't think I really have one. Um, I mean, the only one that really, really stands out was, was it 2016? It was, I was pregnant with Ryan, and I just remember us, just, I came home from work like 30 minutes before, and... We just kind of like cuddled up and then we both fell asleep like 15 minutes. No, it was like 10 minutes before the ball dropped. And we woke up. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. We had missed it. But I remembered um, being exhausted from feeling the kicks of Ryan and just drained. But it was like the one night that we like spent together. 49, what do you enjoy doing on Christmas Eve night? Uh, watching Christmas movies, talking about, you know, Santa coming, and um, it's really it. Just watching Christmas movies, hot, ch hot chocolate, and, you know, preparing for the next day. And 50, fill in the blank. The true meaning of Christmas is, is it, the true meaning of Christmas, let's see, the true meaning of Christmas, I would just think, is, you know, Jesus, the it was his birthday. He's the reason for the season. So, the true meaning of Christmas being Jesus. It's not about gifts. It's not about, um, you know, money or it's Jesus is the meaning. So, that is our 50 questions we have. They are going to be linked in the description below. 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to answer any other questions. Um, or even just come say hello. We love chatting with you guys. Share this out so others can see. And we will see you in the next video. I would like to shout out our tagged person. It's going to be Yi Wei. So his channel is going to be here across the bottom of the screen. He is the next one to do this tag challenge. So it is your turn. I can't wait to see what you have to say. And I will see you in the next video. Opportunities are created. You are the creator of those opportunities. Go out there and make your dreams come true. Have a great day and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.